welcome back to my channel okay you guys so today I just wanted to film this little quick video this little chit chat and talk about like removing negative energies because a lot of us and I am also in the process of doing something else but it was put on me so I had to talk about it a lot of us we don't realize that when we move on from people that we're still connected to them in some type of way and today you guys i am going to talk to you about cutting cords and banishing negative energies right so first things first if you're new welcome thank you for tuning in with me be sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you think of this video and if you are a returning subscriber welcome so you guys like a lot of the times we we share space with people and we don't realize that when we share space with people some people have tainted energies right and unbalanced energies and so that in return can come and make you unbalanced it can make you have a distorted energy to the point where you could be feeling someone else's energy and you don't know why and you're like well i moved on from this person and i'm still thinking about them or they're still coming up and stuff like that but the thing is you don't just move on from people you have to release them and then once you release them you cut the cords because energetically they're still in your space and a lot of the times we're more empathetic than what we know so we feel things and then other people pop up as soon as we think about it that's because it doesn't matter how far they how far away they are they can still feel you as well right so another thing that you want to do when you remove them out of your aura is you want to raise your vibration because cutting cords with people it can drop your energy really low because those people may be low vibrating and you could be high vibrating so if you have a natural healing energy you're automatically going to gravitate well people are, are automatically going to gravitate towards you and they're going to be low vibrating people hurt people um broken whatever you want to call them they're going to automatically gravitate towards you because you have a healing energy and so then they suck on your energy and they're going to stay there and just keep sucking until you cut them off right and it's it's a thing of well, the first step we'll say to getting rid of uh, negative energies and cutting cords is to forgive those people for leeching onto you, okay? And like I said, y'all, I'm talking and I'm painting at the same time. But you forgive those people for leeching onto you and taking away your energy or trying to take away your power, right? And, and then you accept and I know somebody's probably going to say, yeah, in order to forgive, you have to accept. Right. So you have to accept that these people don't actually, they don't know any better. Because if they did, they would do better. Right. So the only thing they know is to bring somebody else down with them. And a lot of the times you have to be careful of that. You have to use your discernment when it comes to being around those type of people. You have to know what type of people you have to avoid when it comes to that. Because in the instant of you meeting people, if your energy gets depleted, run. <laughs> because the energy vampires, they need something to feed off of. And you being that high vibrational person that you are they're gonna come to you so i wrote a little speech i wrote this actually a long time ago for myself for when i was working on you know cutting cords with people and banishing negative energies because 
there was a point where I was trying to move on and do a lot of things. And I was trying to establish boundaries between me and a lot of people, old friends, family members, whether it's like exes. I was trying to establish boundaries. But for some reason, I couldn't establish those boundaries because I had too many people into my space. I shared space with too many people and allowed them to come in and take and take. And I didn't set boundaries with them. So that's another thing with cutting cords. When you cut the cords and you banish that energy, you learn to keep people away or like feed them with a long spoon. That's literally what it is. And the thing that I wrote um, for number one is accept that the situation, accept the situation for what it is and understand that that person did not know how to handle you, let alone themselves. Forgive it, right? So that's what you have to do. And then you write why you're forgiving it. And then you write that you accept that these people are vultures. You know, I, I don't want to say anything bad about them, but they're low vibrating energies, right? And then the second step is this is what I did. I wrote down my emotions and my thoughts. And I can't stress this enough, but be so positive. Release them but still be positive because you don't want to wish any negative or um, harm on them while you're releasing them because that in return, that gives wishing bad on people gives, takes away more energy than wishing good on them because you are putting out bad energy. Oh, well, I want this person to, let's say fall and trip or something like that. You're wishing bad on them, which causes them to, in return, it just adds gas to a fire that already needs to be put out. So it's taking a lot out of you already. So it's just best to just let it go because what purpose is it serving you as you're holding on to that? Because when you hold on to all these these people, you have all these cords attached to you and your auric field. When you have all these cords attached to you, it's blocking you from the things that are trying to come in, right? So in order for the new to come in, you got to get rid of the old. And the mantra that I wrote for the cord cutting, Sarah, well, it's, I don't know say it's like a ceremony, but you just, you sit you make sure that you're protected. You protect yourself, whether you do it with your crystals, whether you open the sacred space and protect yourself, um, whether you ask your ancestors to protect you in the spiritual realm as you do that, and you say your ceremony, okay? Well, you, you say your mantra. And so the mantra that I actually wrote down was, I, you say your name, release you with a full heart, with love and peace for the place you once held in my life. May you be happy in the life you've chosen. I now take back all the energy that has been taken away from me and all the energy that I have given. And so when you do this, I just wanted to add this in there. Um, when you do this, another way to release it, you can burn it or you can also take the paper and fold it, put it in the envelope and put it in the trash. That way, for me, it's kind of like you're taking out the trash in your life. <laughs> so you take it, put it in the reason why the envelope seals the, the energy, the words on the paper and you take it and you put it in the trash. And that was just one of the things that I did because I had an apartment and I couldn't burn it in like on the stove anywhere or on the patio. So I had to do it another way. So whatever way works for you as far as releasing this, do it. If you want to shred the paper as well, you can shred it. But make sure you take out the shredded pieces and put them in the trash. Okay, so... Okay, and I take back the energy that I have given away. I return the energy that I still hold from you. 
May I be released from the ties that bind us. May all the cords be cut, transmuted, and dissolved. May all energy return to its original sender with power, peace, and forgiveness. I ask that this is complete and sealed now. And so it is. So rewind this video so that you can get this mantra and say it and learn how to cut cords. This is so... When I tell you this, how this is very powerful. Um, and after you do it, take a shower, soak in the bathtub in some Epsom salt, some herbs or something, something that is going to detoxify your auric field. Okay. So like what I like to do is I like to soak in the tub. I soak in the tub with my herbs. Um, sometimes I'll mix some herbs, like ones that are like also relaxing where I'm not so stressed out. And, um, I will also do ones that are like detoxifying. So do your, um, well, I, I like to do the bath and then after I've done the bath, after I've done it, like maybe I've soaked in it for like 15, 30 minutes, I will go and take a shower and wash everything down the drain and just imagine everything just falling off of me. And then I go and I say positive affirmations to build myself up. Because once you cut cords with people, you have to put the positivity back into you. Because you'll start getting tested. Those people start calling. They'll start texting. Do not answer the phone. Do not speak out to them. Don't reach out to them. Don't start. You're like, you'll start feeling bad. But that's just a test. You got to keep going. Don't think about it because once you remove them, you remove them. If you go back, talk on the phone with them, get attached to them in some type of way. When you get on the phone with them, that's still energy. They're still putting energy through to you, right? And it's through sound waves, but it's still vibrating into your ears. So it's still going into your org field, right? So... If you're going to cut cords with somebody that you know you don't want to be around, um, you just don't like how vexing their energy is to you, don't, don't get in contact with them because you will, once again, have to cut cords. And sometimes if you have to go back and cut cords, the first time is already hard, but the second time will be harder. It's just like, you know, trying to learn this lesson. You, you go... And you do it the first time and you get a little slap on the wrist. And then the second time you go, it got a little harder than the first time, and but you managed to get out. And then the third time, it was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. That's literally what it is when you cut cords with people. And you have to be careful because if you cut cords, cords with them and they come back and they have they have new energy. You, people get new energy on them every day. They meet new people. They get into different situations than what they were before. And sometimes a lot of people don't know how to clean cleanse their aura and so when they come back into you they're bringing all of that times two so just be mindful when you do cut cords with people if you know you're going to talk back to these people or associate yourself with these people then don't do it because it's it's really not going to benefit you it's only going to be a little bit worse than the first okay so you guys let me know what you think about this and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. Bye.